So basically, I have an avatar here with a random outfit generator on it. This is really cool for avatars that have um, more than like one article of clothing. For like each, you know, like like you could make different outfits with it. So for me, I have two different tops that I can switch between, and then there's three states of the jacket. So there's one jacket, there's this jacket, which is the second one, and then there's like no jacket. Um, and then for bottoms, I have a skirt, shorts, and pants, and then nothing. So this is really cool for avatars that have quite a few pieces of clothing on them. Um, as you can see, the more I hit this button, it randomly will generate an outfit. And I also have a few accessories hooked up to it. So basically, I'm going to show you how to do that. And to do that, you have to have all of your toggles set up already. So I'm just going to put this in here. You have to have all of your like layers set up with the correct thing. This does work with bools if you're using like bool um, toggles. So they don't have to be integers. Mine are just integers because I... I'm not really looking for performance here. I'm not looking to save my memory. So I just have them on integers, but you could do it with bulls as well. So basically I have my different integer values here, my, anim my animations. Um, so obviously this one is zero, this one's one and two. So the way I have it set up is I have a null state and then I have a random layer, but I'm going to add a new layer here and show you how to do this. Gotta drag that all the way up. Oh god, this is gonna be a pain. Okay. So, you wanna make sure you have a nothing animation somewhere. Um, if you don't know what that is, you should watch Cam's tutorial on having right defaults off on your avatar, because having right defaults off is pretty much the standard for avatars. You typically don't wanna use right defaults because it'll break a lot of things. So I have a few animations that are just, you see invalid. Um, they usually say invalid um, or there's a few. Here we have this one called buffer, which is just, obviously that's not a real thing. Um, so you could drag in any animation that doesn't do anything. I'm gonna use my null state uh, animation. So that's, let me close that. I'm gonna use my null state animation and I'm just gonna title this wait because I don't want this animation to do anything yet. I don't want to load in and randomize my avatar. I want to click a button and have my outfits generated by an animation, but not this one because I, w I want this to only activate when I click that button. So this is my wait animation. And for random, it's just gonna be empty. There's not going to be anything in there. So you don't want to have empty animation blocks in your project. So I'm going to use another null state and I'm just going to name it random. So there's no animations on either of these blocks. They're both null. They're, they're both invalid animations. So I'm going to make a transition to random and then from random back to wait. So my button is only going to activate once and then it's going to go right back to wait. Because I only want it to randomize once. I want the more I click it, the more it has to wait. Um, so you want to check off has exit time, transition duration zero. Um, you can change, actually, I don't think that you would need to change that for, no. You always want your transition duration is to be zero. And then you want write defaults off on both of these. So that is going to do nothing um, except for here. You want your random parameter. It's just in here, random. This is only to control the button. So random is true. If I click random, if I click the button that says random, it's gonna go to this block. And then when I uncheck random, it's going to go back to wait. False. And then it has exit time, blah, blah, blah. So on my random block, I'm going to use a parameter driver. So Pretty much have to type in parameter driver and there it is. But some people use these for um, simulated integers. But obviously I have integers here. This will work with simulated integers as well. 
So I'm going to add a parameter and it's going to be my jackets. So I'm going to change that to random and it gives you a value. It gives you two values. So obviously the start one is zero and then I only have two jackets. So my max value is going to be two because zero is my first jacket. One is my second jacket and then two is just off. So by triggering this button, by clicking this button, it's going to randomly select a number in between zero and two and it will toggle them on in here. So then I'm just going to do that for the rest of them. My tops, I have three of them. So I'm going to just do, oh wait, don't I have four? No, I only have two, actually. I lied. So it's going to be one, just a random value between zero and one. And I'll show you how to do bulls. So my shoes, they're on a bull. But you can see I don't get two values here. I get a chance. And it's out of one. So like think of it as a hundred. Um, if you want to do a 50% chance to land on shoes off, you're going to do a 0.5. And there you go. Um, and for the rest of them, I mean, you could do this too, where your um, hue shift is also auto generated. So my minimum value is zero and my maximum value is a hundred or well one. So it, it is also going to randomly generate or randomly pick what color I want. I'm not going to do this on the actual avatar. I'm just going to, you know, this is for tutorial purposes. So then I'm going to go into my menu. Where's my menu? I'm going to do my choose for me and my parameter is random. So Obviously, if you have the um, avatar emulator, you can see this in here. Um, but every time I've tried it, if I delete this and put this in play mode, and I have my animator over here, this doesn't do anything. Um, and it also tells you right here, using add and random may not produce the same result when run on a remote instance of the avatar. So for some reason, you can't test it this way. You either have to test it in game or test it with the emulator. It does not work this way. And I don't know why, but it just doesn't work. So you have to do the emulator and then go to your avatar and just spam the button. So as you can see, it's randomly picking colors for me. It's randomly picking clothing. And each thing has, well, Everything but the like main pieces has like a 50% chance to come off. And that's pretty cool. So you should totally try it. It's pretty fun. Thank you for watching.